Yeah, it's a nice looking place there. Yeah. Right on the beach. Yeah, very nice. Presumably very pricey, but who knows? One would think so. <coughs> Uh, yeah, had um, lunch again today, well, breakfast again today is a part of the deal. <coughs> I, no one told me the breakfast was on except for the fact that the uh, the turmeric turned up. And when I actually went there, which was getting on a little after nine, so it was getting very late for me. You know, usually I'd have breakfast maybe an hour earlier than that. Uh, the um, South Korean couple were there with their child. And I really felt like I was imposing upon them. I felt like a, a stranger in a, in a family uh, dinner situation. I just, I just didn't feel relaxed at all. Um, they'd been there for a month, and they're sort of like they're part of their family. And I just felt like I was imposing. Last time I was here, there was a group of other people who were just staying there short term as well, and uh, that was pretty convivial. But I just felt. It felt like I was imposing, and then I may be, I may be wrong there, but that was just my perception. So. Yeah, a bit of a shame. So I'm just heading now down the, uh, the southerly direction, down the, the uh, boardwalk, promenade, if you want to call it, whatever. And just see what's down here, get a bit of exercise. I'll retire to the sports bar later, maybe, we'll see. It's a little earlier than I went yesterday. I left about quarter to two. It's about an hour earlier. A few people in the sports bar probably having lunch, but it was quiet when I went there in mid-afternoon. Going on the voices I hear, there seems to be a lot of European uh, tourists coming down here. So, yeah. Is for rent. God. It doesn't seem to be booming, but again, this is not the weekend. This is only a Wednesday. I've got to say, I'll be pretty happy to finish the trip now. I think I'm over it. I'll be looking forward to getting back home. <laughs> so, yeah, well, doubly because you've got the coronavirus thing as well. There's another huge development being built here you see a lot of uh, construction walls around here so there's a lot being built big sign villa for sale <laughs> but I, I would still hazard a guess they're doing it pretty tough around here right now corona is really making life difficult I would think so uh, yeah the uh, Chinese tourists have made up such a huge number of of the uh, visitors of recent times that uh, tourism is going to take a huge blow unless the place I'm staying at doesn't have so much only kept the occasional uh, Chinese independent travelers but uh, but they do say they've got a few so they're, they're not traveling all in groups as they used to they're branched out a bit more as so they've got more experience I guess but of course so they're going to take uh, some level of a hit but they always seem to have someone staying there, so I think they're doing okay. Well, this is a nice shaded walk, I'll give you that. But uh, there's just so many places here, I couldn't possibly fill them all. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Yes. Resorts everywhere you look. So, uh, you know, I couldn't imagine them having full occupancy except for a couple of times during the year, you'd think. Oh, what is that? Interesting sculpture. Huh. Yeah, but it's, oh, this is actually probably nicer walk than uh, the one up north. I think it's a bit better. That's a song they were playing all the time in the bars in Saigon. Bit of a breeze, it's quite pleasant. The thing about being near the beach, you do get a bit of a breeze. There's lots of these, uh, oh, that's some good road actually, 9150. Huh. 
but again some of the beaches don't know if it's like dodgy or not but yeah the board might be might be legit but the actual changer that seems like a very good rate for someone on the beach to me I would be questioning that one and the 96 one that's just too way too good to be true that was in the main street so what my plan is to just walk down here have a bit of a rest and then go in that way towards where the main uh, road is and uh, and check that out because it's quite it's quite good places there but yeah this is much better down here walking south is a hell of a lot better walk than going up north yeah, this is quite pleasant and this would be better for bike riding too much better yeah so it's, I think I know which would be the preferred way to go. Another, yet another resort. Yeah, lots of them. Yeah, more French by the sound of these boys. A few of them are travelling at the moment. Well, you've got Macron in charge. I suppose you want to be as far away as possible from the place. Yeah, this is real resort central here. resort here quite palatial yeah a whole group of people wearing Indonesian traditional garb you yeah, don't know what's out there on that little island a couple of shaded areas yeah very nice nice lush sort of grounds very attractive Guess what? More resorts. Mm. Oh, major burning. Things an accelerant. Oh. Well, didn't expect to see that. I assume that's what it is. Could be wrong. And all of a sudden, the um, the resorts end. Nothing. Straight after that funeral pyre, that was seems to be the end of the uh, all the resorts. 
You can see totally different here. Quite nice and chilled. Big place there. Well, maybe a resort, but it's nothing like... No one's walking down here, right? There's obviously no retail outlets. That's an amazing contrast. It's only like 50 metres back there. And, you know, it almost feels like you're in an isolated area here. How's that for a front yard? It's quite impressive, isn't it? More bike riders. And another impressive looking building coming up here. Wow, looks like traditional Balinese to me, but I know nothing, so that's a stab in the dark. Obviously with some contemporary additions there, like the windows and what have you. Yeah, that's no, probably a contemporary building, but uh, with a little bit of thatching to make it look traditional. It's still a nice design. I made it right down the end of the beach, now up to the Hyatt, which I assume is a fairly upmarket little enclave. Oh. It should turn to the right fairly soon, and then we'll be back into uh, the urban area. Yeah, that's very nice, look at this, isn't it beautiful? Although it looks like a university building, it's like something from La Trobe from the 70s. Sort of got, but the greenery helps sort of soften it a bit. Yeah, the actual architecture ain't expiring, but the... Uh, I am impressed by the, the, the vegetation around it, it's very nice. There's yeah, some beautiful spots here. Oh god, it's sounding like cans with the uh, the whipper snippers and the bloody chainsaws and all that. Uh, it's the first time I've heard that here. Oh god, it's a horrible sound. Oh, there you go, volleyball. Jeez, uh, this beautiful serenity absolutely destroyed by me. Look at that, it's fantastic gardens. Let this see this guy, the bloody... Oh. You'd be perfect in cans. <laughs> perfect place for it. It's the first time I've seen this sort of stuff used in Asia. It's just as bad as uh, back home. They are big gardens, mind you. Oh God, I hate that sound. Plus, plus the exhaust. It's just horrible. Little soccer goal. Beach soccer. Yeah, I guess that's the entrance to the resort. Where the other half live, the Hyatt. Oh, now they stop. Now they stop the buzz. Saws. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Like I say, there's no lack of resorts around this place. I'm quite happy where I'm staying, I've got to say, but uh, I guess it would be nice to be on the beach. I've done the poor man's version in, uh, in Tiamat Island, Juara Beach. Uh, that was uh, nice. It was, I mean, it's a it was a beautiful beach and great swimming, and fraction of the cost, and good uh, socially. So, and cheap beer, so it had a few things going for it. But uh, at some stage you should be able to turn right here, hopefully, and then check out the main road. And I'll be pretty exhausted when I get back and I can have a beer. Certainly earned it. Now, is this a road coming up here? Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. 
and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or or if you're feeling really energetic do both that'd be great uh, but uh, please don't ignore me that's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored <laughs>